What's up, Gold Squad? Famox here from Game of Your Face, and today we are looking at one of the league's most exciting Russian talents, Vladimir Tarasenko. Here's the rules. He'll play for 7 games on a 100 chemistry line. He'll not be assigned any boosts or captaincy cards. The overall grade is based on 5 stats. Puck skills, skating, shooting, physical, and defensive. His current average price is 200k, putting him in the same price range as Tavares and Sagan. Puck skills, he gets an 8.5. We all know Tarasenko can get some nasty goals in real life and he can do the same in this game. His dekes aren't the fastest, but they are smooth and effective. He has great puck control so he can dangle through a crowd without issue. And he's fully capable of completing all the loose puck dekes without losing the puck. However, he's not much of a playmaker. He can make the simple pass when the lane is clear, but if you try to get fancy with him, it'll most likely get intercepted. Skating, he gets a nine. Tarasenko is an absolute rocket. He's one of those players that can create chances with his speed alone. I'd say he's just as fast as Kessel, but has better acceleration. He can take off at the drop of a hat and leave his opponent in the dust. He's also pretty agile, but not on the same level as Duchesne or Kane. Shooting, he gets a 9.5. Tarasenko has one of the most dangerous shots in this entire game. He's up there with guys like Stamkos and Ovechkin. When you find him on the one-timer, there's almost no chance for the goalie. And there's no difference with his wrister either, as he can light the lamp just as easily. However, the reason he didn't get a 10 was because he would have random shifts where he couldn't hit the net. Maybe once or twice a game, his shot would go completely wide. Some people might blame this on the new tuner, but I think it's still something to take note of. However, 90% of his shots were still golden. Physical. He gets a 7.5. Tarasenko's beast performance continues on into his physicality. He's very strong in the puck and can protect it very well against opposing checks. He can play the part of a power forward and will have no problem along the boards or delivering a hit. That being said, he's no Milan Lucic and he'll still get rocked or bounce a few hits, but overall, he's a solid physical player. Defensive. He gets a 6.5. This is the one area that brings down Tarasenko's grade. Now I know nobody is buying him for his defensive skills, and it's not like he's horrible, he's just okay. His poke check is decent, creating some chances on the forecheck, and he only got one penalty, but his ability to intercept passes was very weak. However, it's good enough for what he's expected to do. Total points. In 7 games, he got 6 goals and 2 assists for a total of 8 points. His overall grade comes to 8.2 out of 10, or 82%. So Tarasenko finishes this review with the second highest overall grade at 82%, just under Duchesne's 83. His offensive abilities are outstanding, and at 200k, he's one of the best forwards at that price point. He's fast, he's strong, and his shot is easily top 5 in the game. His only weaknesses are his passing and defensive, but those are two areas that you wouldn't expect him to excel in anyways. So if you have 200k and are looking for a top line winger, I would strongly suggest you at least give Tarasenko Tarasenko a try. He outperformed Sagan and Tavares on my team when it comes to putting up the goals. But that's just my opinion. Now let's take a look at the community review. So you guys for puck skills gave him 8.5, skating 8.5, shooting 9, physical 7 and defensive 7 for a total overall grade of 80%. That's just 2% under my ranking. So again, we were pretty close. Now, that concludes this review. The next review will be the start of a new series that you guys have been requesting for quite a while. I won't give the full details right now, but the series will be called, Is It Worth It? If you're a patron, don't forget to vote on the next one. And if you're not, then I would love it if you just left me with a like or subscribe if you're new to join the Gorf Squad, where I provide in-depth reviews so you can make informed decisions. I'm Famox, and I'll see you in the next one.